Welcome my friends. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make your phone into a wireless webcam or a wireless secondary camera on your live streaming if you want to do that without using any apps and it is completely free. In fact I think this is one of the best programs out there even when comparing to some of the paid apps and things. I think this works better. So, what this thing is called is OBS Ninja. So, it's some Ninja services. So let me quickly tell you how this works. So it's basically like a browser-based uh, program that kind of connects wirelessly to your phone, camera and audio. So you can get audio through that as well. So it connects with your phone and then sends it over the internet directly to your broadcasting device or broadcasting software which in our case is OBS. Let me show you how to set this up. So you want to go to this website called obs.ninja. If this site for some reason is not opening or is blocked you might want to go to your network settings or your provider network settings because it's maybe blocking this site because it feels suspicious site or over 18 site so it's in default blocked which I had to do so do that first and then you can see that or add this as an exemption into there. So in here you see a uh, four squares over here okay so if I was opening this on my phone I would go to add your camera to OBS which then would add my phone camera to OBS but because I'm not on my phone I'm actually going to send an invite to someone to add their phone to the OBS. So basically it is also awesome if you want to use your friend or someone you want to live stream the other side of the world send them this invite and then their camera or their phone connects directly to your live streaming software and you can that do that that way. So let's create a reusable link we're going to make this tech notice demo and I'm just gonna create the invite link. Now the guest invite link, the green one, is what we want to send to the phone over here, okay? So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna send it to myself over here. As you can see, this is what comes up on my phone over here and it is it says share your camera. So we're just gonna click on that. We want to open it in Chrome as well actually so that you know Chrome would work. So this is a facing, front-facing camera. So you can change the cameras you're going to use if you wanted to. So we're going to use this camera over here. All you have to do is press this green button when ready. So we're just going to press it. So now it is already broadcasting to, you know, the internet. So what we have to do now is when we are on the computer, we're going to copy that link over there, the red one. We're going to go to OBS. This is our display capture over here. We're going to add a browser okay can you see that browser over here we're just gonna call it OBS ninja enter as the URL we're gonna type in this OBS ninja click link what was over there we're just gonna paste it over there now the width and height would be the camera resolution that you have on your phone so if you don't know that you know I know that mine is 1920 times 1080 so it's a full HD front-facing camera and you can control the audio via OBS or just on there we're gonna put that one on as well and then uh, refresh the browser when the scene becomes active so we're gonna do that and as you can see over here voila we have a camera that is connected to my OBS over here can you see that hmm how cool is that? So now, as you can see over here, the latency is very, very good as well as the audio. You can see I'm already recording audio over here and when I'm playing it back, I can show you the audio over there. So you can see the delay, what the delay would be, you know, but it's very, very good. You can easily add this as your secondary cam. So if you're doing maybe gaming or streaming or something like that, you want to add this as your other camera. There you go. Off you go. And that's how easy it is. You can also change, you know, the mute the camera over here, take the video off on this as well. If you wanted to quickly go the video off, it is very, very simple. Front ways, sideways, and that's how it works. So it also works as on mobile data. So if you have a mobile data, you know, put 4G on, 5G on, and you can do that. So we can just, you know, use it as secondary camera, let's say just as this display capture. You know, I'm gonna put this in the bottom corner over there. Let's, you know, um, alt, alt, let's make this a little bit smaller. Look, there we go. Okay, 
our display capture and then now we're just there capturing you know look that's what you do over here you know you go to youtube no you go youtube.com you're gonna search for tech notice and click subscribe huh we're already subscribed because i'm logged in onto my channel everything like that that is how this would work now and this is absolutely amazing how easily you can add this over there let me know guys what you think I absolutely love this. Hope this was helpful for you. Now hit that like button if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we're going to see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye-bye.